Okay, so today in this video, I'll be going through two questions that cover some essential GCSE maths techniques that you should know for your exams. In this first question, we have a sector of 60 degrees with radius R, and we are told to find this shaded area. So here's how I'd go about finding this shaded area. Notice, if we have the area of the sector and we take it away from the area of the triangle, what we'll be left with is just that shaded area R. So let's try and do that. Now, if we want to find either the area of the triangle or the sector, we're gonna need to find what the radius is. Let's draw this triangle to the side here. So it has a length of eight here, an angle of 60 degrees, and these two, these two lengths are R. Notice we have two side lengths which are the same. Therefore, this must be an isosceles triangle. That means these two angles are also going to be the same. So we can label both these angles as X. Now remember, angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if we add up all these angles, we're going to get 180. Now we have an equation. If we take away 60 from both sides, we have 2X equals 120. Dividing both sides by 2, we get X equals 60. Angles are going to be 60. But wait a minute. If you look at the angles, they're all the same, which means this is not an isosceles triangle. It's actually an equilateral triangle. So we know that R must be equal to 8, as all side lengths are going to be the same. So we can get rid of R, replace it with 8. Now we can find the area of the triangle and the sector. First of all, let's find the area of the triangle. So we have this triangle here. There are many different ways you can do this, but I'm going to use the formula half a, B, sine C. So this is A, this is B, and this is capital C. So we get a half times A times A times sine of 60. This is going to be 8 times 8 is 64. 64 over 2 times sine 60, which is root 3 over 2. And if we simplify that, we're going to get 16 root 3. So now we have the area of this triangle. We're also going to find the area of the sector. So the area of the sector, here it is. Let's just draw it out. So to find the area of the sector, let's think of this as a whole circle first. So if it was a whole circle, to find the area, we do pi times the radius squared, which is 8 squared. However, we don't have a full circle. We have 60 degrees of a full circle. So we have 60 degrees out of a full circle, which would be 360 degrees. So we're going to have that much of the circle. So if we simplify this, we're going to get 64 pi times 1 over 6, which is 32 pi over 3. Now, to find the area of the shaded region, all we need to do is subtract these two from each other. Remember, we said it's the area of the sector take away from the triangle. So we do 32 pi over 3 minus 16 root 3. We can times the top and bottom by 3 of this. So we have minus 48 root 3 over 3. So our final answer, R is equal to 32 pi minus 48 root 3 over 3. And if we want to give it as a decimal, we can. That means it's going to be approximately equal to 5.8. And that's to one decimal place. So that's the final answer for this. Now, this is quite a difficult question as you had to do quite a lot of problem solving to get it, but it's worth the effort. Okay, in this question, we're asked to make M the subject of what looks like something very horrible. Now, my advice for these questions of making something the subject would be just to bring all the M's, in this case, to one side of the equation. Then we can see what we can do after that. Now, on the right-hand side, we have a fraction and a term Let's just collect these terms together, put them in one fraction. This should make it simpler. So we have 3m plus x over x is equal to m over 2 minus 
Now we want this to be over 2 as well, so we can subtract it. So we're going to multiply top and bottom by 2. 2mx, 4mx cubed over 2. So now we have 3m plus x over x is equal to m minus 4mx cubed over 2. So now we can simplify this a bit. If we multiply both sides by 2 and x, we're going to get 3m plus x all multiplied by 2 on this side. And on the right hand side, we're going to have x multiplied by both the terms. So mx minus 4mx to the 4. So if we expand that bracket, we have 6m plus 2x equals mx minus 4mx to the 4. So let's move over to this side. Now we want, remember I said we're going to try and get all the m's on one side of the equation. So let's move them all to the left hand side. 6m plus 4mx to the 4 minus mx is equal to, we'll bring that 2x to the other side. So take away 2x from both sides. Now notice we have a m in each of these terms. So we can take m out as a factor. So we have m lots of 6 plus 4 lots of x to the 4 minus x. And this is equal to minus 2x. So finally, all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by this. So we're left with m is equal to minus 2x over 6 plus 4 lots of 4x to the 4 minus x. And that's our final answer. Now, even though this may look really bad at the moment, if you just practice this a bit, it actually gets a lot better. Anyway, I hope you learned from these videos. I hope you enjoyed and goodbye.